Right. Our next speaker today will be Tim Bolger. Tim is from the Fox Valley Club and has been around Toastmasters for a long time. He's also spent a number of years at the district level being the district sergeant at arms. Tim's speech today will be five to seven minutes. Excellent. And it is important today truly that we stay within five to seven minutes as we are running a little bit late. The title of Tim's speech is called I Have a Beef. I Have a Beef, five to seven minutes. Tim Bolger, please welcome Tim. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests, I truly have a beef with Toastmasters. I'm going to start by reading a simple little letter that came over our district website. Friends, after consultation with several leaders in District 30, we have canceled the, the finished Strong Speakathon that was scheduled for tomorrow, June 15th, in Arlington Heights. The reason for this cancellation is that we became aware that our event, which was set up just like many other similar events held in the last few years around District 30, was not in compliance with Toastmasters International rules and guidelines. The pertinent rule appears on page 47 of the District Leadership Manual. The pertinent rule of special meetings for prepared speeches. Here's the beef directly from the owner's manual of Toastmasters. To allow more speaking opportunities for members, clubs should meet weekly. If a club has a large number of members and has difficulty accommodating all those who want to speak at meetings, the club may occasionally conduct a special meeting solely to manual speeches. These meetings are called speakathons, speech marathons, or speakouts. The only reason such meetings may be held is to help individual members improve speaking skills, and they may be organized only by a club. Districts, including areas and divisions, may not organize this type of meeting for clubs, and clubs may not invite other members from other clubs to participate in these meetings. Direct questions to educational awards at toastmasters.org or 949-858-8255, extension 433. As clubs are clearly not involved to invite members from other clubs to participate in speakathon, we felt that the right thing was to cancel the event. We apologize for any inconvenience that this is causing one who had planned to participate in the event. Signed, John Lobby, Jerry Evans, and Rick Westcott. Well, gentlemen and ladies, why is it then that our district has had speakathons for the last five years when it was clearly in non-compliance with the district? Probably because the speakathons worked. It works to develop fellowship. It, it works to get members out and cooperate amongst other members. And it works to bring people together. Plus, it gives guys like me a chance to really thrive and speak out. <laughs> yeah. What happens when you have a rule that you think is complete horse fodder? <laughs> or may I say, as some of the Texans put it, well, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Gene Sharp, in a book, From Dictatorship to Democracy, talked about rule changes and what it takes to change the rules of a governing body. He clearly states out by stating you get a group or a coalition together and you say, hey, we want this rule changed to include something that was working in our district to enhance our members. Thirteen people were denied the rule to speak. We were having these at our speech marathon, at our conferences, and our TLIs giving another 13 to 14, maybe 15 people a chance to get another speech. And why is it that they've canceled it? Why is it that this rule even exists in the first place? Frankly, if I was district governor, I may have been forced to make the same decision. But as a district governor, if I was doing it, the first thing I would be doing is organizing a protest movement to change this rule. So today, I'm going to organize a protest movement. We call it the Toastmasters Liberation Front. <laughs> Bring back the speakathon. We might do things as maybe have a petition drive, maybe even picket signs at the TLI, 
or maybe some disruptions at the business meeting at the International Convention. That's where you start. If the rules are not changed and you feel that it must change them, Gene Sharp recommends things as non-cooperation with the organization or governing body. That means maybe we might have to do such things as sandbag our awards and say, we won't turn them until the rules are changed. It might mean such things as holding an unauthorized speakathon or unspeakathon at the conference. I'm sure you all share with me this organization is made for communication. So why is it that we have rules such as this that are preventing communication and opportunities for communication from other members? I think it is the height of hypocrisy to have this, especially since we've had this event in the last few years, and if they're not in compliance, we have a district governor past district governor who is also out of compliance because he got one of his awards finished at a speakathon, Mr. Kyle Rohde. <laughs> and I'll point you out to that too. <laughs> so, <laughs> Mr. Tim Bolger, member of Fox Valley District 30, and fellow Toastmaster who's been a member for five years, strongly stands in opposition to this rule on page 47 of the district manual. And I would simply like to amend it to read, we will allow divisions, clubs, and areas to organize special speakathon meetings for members to help communicate and to facilitate communication between clubs. Mr. Toastmaster, I don't think there's a better, re better reason to communicate in this organization right now. If we can't learn the art of protest in a communications organization, then where are we? Besides, I also really love a good fight. Mr. <laughs> Toastmaster. <laughs> I just wanted to announce uh, two evaluators that we had Jeff Moore was able to evaluate Amy. We'll hear a little bit later from him. Joan.